The yen has been on a downward spiral against the dollar since the beginning of 2022, reaching its lowest level in more than three decades. There are several reasons behind this sharp depreciation of the yen, such as the divergence in monetary policies between the Bank of Japan and the Federal Reserve, the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on the Japanese economy, and the speculation by currency traders. One of the main factors that has widened the gap between the yen and the dollar is the difference in interest rates set by the two central banks. The Bank of Japan has maintained a negative interest rate policy since 2016, while the Federal Reserve has raised its benchmark rate several times in response to rising inflation and economic recovery in the United States. This has made the dollar more attractive to investors who seek higher returns, and has encouraged the sale of the yen in the market. Another reason for the weak yen is the sluggish performance of the Japanese economy, which has been hit hard by the COVID-19 pandemic. Japan has faced multiple waves of infections, lockdowns, and vaccine delays, which have dampened consumer spending, business activity, and tourism. Japan's gross domestic product contracted by 3.9% in 2021, and is expected to grow by only 2.4% 2 in 2022, according to the International Monetary Fund. In contrast, the U.S. economy grew by 5.9% in 2021, and is projected to expand by 5.2% in a third factor that has contributed to the depreciation of the yen is the speculation by currency traders who have bet on a further decline of the Japanese currency. The yen is often used as a funding currency for carry trades, where investors borrow in low-interest currencies and invest in high-interest ones. The expectation of a continued divergence between the U.S. and Japanese interest rates has fueled this practice putting more downward pressure on the yen. The weak yen has had mixed effects on Japan's economy. On one hand, it has boosted the competitiveness and profitability of Japanese exporters, who can sell their products at lower prices and earn more revenues in foreign currencies. On the other hand, it has increased the cost of imports, especially energy and food, which account for a large share of Japan's consumption. This has eroded the purchasing power of households and businesses, and has added to inflationary pressures. The Japanese government and the Bank of Japan have expressed concern over the rapid depreciation of the yen, and have intervened in the foreign exchange market to stem its fall. However, their actions have had limited and temporary impact, as they face strong market forces and international pressure. The U.S. Government has warned Japan against excessive currency manipulation, which could trigger a trade dispute between the two allies. The outlook for the yen remains uncertain, as it depends on various factors such as global economic conditions, geopolitical risks, and policy decisions. However, some analysts expect that the yen will remain weak for a while, as long as there is a significant gap between the U.S. and Japanese interest rates and as long as Japan struggles to overcome its pandemic-induced recession. 